Hi, I'm Chris with Adventures in DIY, and this is my wall mounted bar. It's made from plywood stock with no fancy joints. Let me show you how I made it. Make it easier on yourself and have the big box store cross cut the birch plywood at 28 inches. Start with cutting the 3 quarter inch plywood for the French cleat, carcass body, and the drop down front. All the dados are through cuts because they'll be edged to hide the gaps. Both of the cut lists are available in the description. The half inch plywood cuts are for the back, martini glass holders, small shelf, and drawer combo. Before you start cutting drawer parts, mark halfway up to where the drawer front will be and draw a one inch radius circle. This is for the drawer pull area. I use two methods to try and clean up the edges. Edge banding will give you the cleanest look, especially if you don't paint the wood. Another method is to use wood filler or spackle on the end grain. If you do this, you might see some of the edge through the paint. Assemble the drawer body first and finish it. Paint your front and then put it all together. Everything but the front and part of the drawer was painted with three coats of Rust-Oleum white gloss. I used amber shellac on the front pretty much because I didn't have any cherry stain. Then it was finished with lacquer. Cut the piano hinge to 20 inches. I'm using a $2 belt from a thrift store for straps. The straps are cut 16 inches from hole to hole. The carcass mounting point is one and a half inches from the edge and 10 and 7 eighths inches from the bottom. The mounting point on the front is one and 5 eighths inches in and 11 inches from the bottom. To mount the leather supports, I use number 14 3 quarter inch screws and number 12 1 quarter inch washers. Two magnetic holders keep the front closed. The last bit is the cleat and bottom support. Do a double check so you're not putting it on upside down and having to pull out 15 nails like I did. Just add 15 and a half inches from wherever you want to have this come out. For me, I'm going to set it at 40 inches, so that means the mounting is going to be at 55 and a half inches. I'm just going to temporarily put this in place because this is going to end up being a gift. You would mount this into two studs make sure this stays in place, that's why you had that back cleat on the uh, side over here, is you would mark where your stud is so that you can find it here and then put a screw in to make sure that it doesn't pull away from the wall like that. And some time for the fruits of the labor. I'd like to thank you for watching the video and uh, if you haven't already, please uh, like and subscribe. Check us out on those social media stuff. And uh, most of all, get out there and make something. Thank you. Let me get this off here before those freaking three nails like fall out.